This is Noé talking to you. I, I am working with Pepe in Glassbox. I don't know if you remember me. I was talking about the technical part that of Glassbox uh, last December into the week you get hour. We, we were talking about over there about our architecture and how we could actually work uh, leveraging the crowd with, uh, gla with, a, with a glass bot and also with Glassbox. Well, Glassbox is this intended uh, box that we want to to be like the, the transparency layer of WordPress and also all these websites that, that, that use WordPress and also leverage their use for, uh, well, getting to know how the news are changing. So, well, I, I'm going to present you a little bit more. Uh, I mean, just to recap on, on December, we were talking about this research that we were conducting into WordPress. We, we were talking about there that uh, with the community for the first time, and we talked to one of the users of Stern Data, who actually helped us and to find the, all the, the documentation that exists about, well, the WordPress revisions and how they're used. And well, we found over there that they, they, they existed and actually that they, there was a, like a, a hundred revisions stored like by default and they were out to save. But they were only uh, visible for the author and the admin. But the good thing is that they were queryable and they had a view already, but it was on HTML. So what, what we have been doing lately? Well, we, we went in more in depth into the research uh, onto a technical part. And well, we, we went into the WordPress core repository. Like it was like the, the place where we were actually doing a lot of, a lot of work. So we went into a WordPress core and also the post and page revisions. Uh, I mean, we saw them before into the, the documentation for the users, but we, we wanted to know how they actually work so we could actually implement WordPress uh, Glassbox. So, oh, okay, over there in, we, we found out, uh, also talking with the community that, well, WordPress has two APIs like currently working. They have a, newer version API, which is actually a JSON API, as you can see over here. Well, and it's actually the state of the art in, in, in WordPress. Like uh, a lot of people are using it like to develop and also to create plugins and also to create uh, more dynamic WordPress uh, website. So we, we, we saw that actually a lot of, of things are happening there. Uh, I mean, versus uh, an, an old uh, API that is a XML RPC API that exists for WordPress that, well, it was like one of the first API, it was the first API they actually had, but it has been deprecated like uh, uh, in, in the use from the community. So it's not uh, highly developed lately. So we also found out that uh, we could actually get, uh, well, the the revisions uh, for posts and pages with the WordPress query. So we, we learned how to use the WordPress queries and to, so we could actually get the, the, these revisions. And we changed some of the visibility uh, of the revisions for the purpose of Glassbox. Yeah, it is not changed for, for the whole website, but I mean, just for the, the, the plugin and the endpoints that we want to use. So we made them visible for everyone. So anyone can actually come and see what, I mean, so actually anyone can come and see through the glass box, right? So uh, we, we wanted to, to do a, a, a machine readable view that I, I mean, and we, we knew that it was HTML before and now we are using JSON. So this is one of the learnings that we, we actually had like during this development process. So JSON, like, is we, we wanted to, to use it as a the machine readable view that is compatible with Glassbox and also uh, very compatible and also very, uh, it has a lot of sympathy with the, with the users uh, using the WordPress API. So we, we I mean, in the very beginning, we, we, we said that we wanted to create this Glassbox XML that actually showed the last 72 hours uh, divs but now we're, we're using JSON in, 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 in the case of, of WordPress. And also, well, you, you could actually go into a permalink and then put the slash glassbox.xml uh, that, well, 
XML part is going to be uh, deprecated, but you will be able to see just by putting a slash class box, uh, you will be able to see the history per post or per page. So I want to go like into a small demo with you and show you some of the buttons. Uh, so we have, uh, for example, over here, let's go to, to a website. Uh, I have it in my local host now. Uh, so this is a, the website. We're using some of the, the, the information that you can actually upload to, to the blog to, to test. It's a repository that we found into GitHub and also into the, in the WordPress community documentation that, well, this is the, the content that is widely used for testing all of the, all of the uh, templates and also the functionalities of WordPress and we're using it. Uh, and you have, well, right now, one of the latest uh, WordPress uh, versions that comes with, with, with this template, which is actually very nice. And well, I mean, just to show you uh, how how does it work? Well, uh, well, WordPress has this uh, uh, JSON API where you can actually query the whole website through an API. For example, this is like the the main uh, WordPress JSON uh, endpoint. So over here, what 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 have we done? So. What we, what we did is that, well, we, we put this as, uh, a slash class box uh, namespace that you can actually use. And well, we, as, as we were saying, this is, this is the, same, last, the last 72 hours of changes that have been happening in the website. So you can see over here, well, the author and actually who is the author, when was this uh, change published and, and modified, and what is the entry? Uh, over there, you can see that, well, the title and the content that changed in, in this revision. And also you have a link that actually brings you to a, to a human readable version of the, of the website. So for example, for this one, this is a Hola Mundo, which is the Hello World. Uh, you, you can see over here, like the, the actual, the actual page. And you also have another link. That is a machine readable uh, view of, of that post. So if you want to analyze it with crawlers and, or, or um, uh, bots as we are working with the glass bot, you are, uh, we're, you are able to see it. This is open for everyone in, into, into WordPress. Uh, so yeah, you can you can do this, and well, uh, you can actually also see the revisions of a post. So, for example, let's go to this another post that is, it 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 has changed in the last seventy two hours, which is this. Let me copy the link. Let's go and see what is that. So, this is another of the post, uh, which is this template sticky version four, and well, over here you can see uh, the the actual title and also the content. Uh, let, let's change it. Let's say that we are producing a new version of it. And let's go and create a version five, which is uh, the latest version. So before we went into the, this uh, slash class box and we saw that the latest one was a version four. If we go and query the website again, you will be able that, well, this version five was published. And also you can see like the time when this was actually uh, published and well, all of the changes, you, you can see them. Uh, but let's say, okay, I want to see how, because I saw that uh, this, uh, this page was changed. There's a version five, you saw there's a version four, and then you're wondering, okay, I want to see what's going on, what, what has been going on what has been going on uh, in, since the beginning of the, of the creation of this, of this post. So let's say you have the post over there, you put a slash and then you put the glass box. And then you're able to see the revisions. So you saw this version five and also with the content, 
you're able to see the version 4 you were able to see version 2 that was actually the one the one before because while I was testing I just skipped version 3 and you were able to see all the changes that have been happening in into that post so well uh, we have been working on this uh, we're currently uh, working into into putting this into a plugin I mean so far it's been, it's been good uh, we we were able to actually use uh, the WordPress revision so so we can actually show to the public how the news are changing and also how uh, the websites are changing that that actually use WordPress and well we want to to make this uh, plugin available and well, right now we're just packaging it and also like testing it uh, so to see how it works uh, into the website so I want to show you a little bit of this and well let, let, I think I, I'll talk to you soon and let's see on Slack okay talk to you later see you